Hello everyone, this video is in continuation to our previous video where we were discussing human reproduction. We have discussed the male reproductive system. From this video on, we are going to start with female reproductive system. So in this video, in detail, we'll be doing the female reproductive system, the parts, their functions and how are they arranged. Watch the video till the end so that in the end you will get everything on the board and you can uh, easily see how a diagram is made and how come uh, the parts they perform their function. So we'll start with the video. First of all, if we, as in the male reproductive system, we did that there are some primary organs and there are some accessory organs to assist. In the same way, here also we have some primary organs and secondary organs. If I say the only primary organ as in case of uh, males it was testis in the case of females it's ovary so ovary is the primary uh, organ why because it's now going to perform the main functions that is formation of egg or ova and secretion of estrogen and progesterone Okay, so that is why it is the primary sex organ and we have secondary or accessory, accessory sex organs include fallopian tube, uterus, they'll, uh, uh, fallopian tubes, uterus, then vagina as well. They are the accessory sex organs and we have certain glands also which we'll be doing in our further videos. So these are the primary and secondary sex organs. We'll now do a few main pointers related to ovary and then we'll switch to the reproductive system. If I say the main characteristic features of ovaries would be first it is two to three centimeters long. It is present in the lower abdomen or you can say the pelvic region as well. It is present inside the body of the female as the testes are present outside they were extra abdominal. Ovaries are inside the abdomen of, an, of a female because the formation of ovaries does not have a specific uh, temperature or something. It can be formed easily inside the body as well. So they are present inside the body of the female. Then ovaries, uh, I've written it here also, they perform two functions formation of egg and release of progesterone and estrogen. They are the main functions of They are the main functions of the ovary. It is 2 to 3 centimeters long, present in the lower abdomen or the pelvic region and it produces these, uh, uh, they produce egg as well as the different hormones. Now we'll switch to the female reproductive system. I'll just remove everything because I just need some space. Okay, so when we talk about the female reproductive system, when we start discussing female reproductive system, we all know that there are these ovaries present and ovaries already I've discussed the main functions and all. Ovary is the main part which is going to release the egg and this has a funnel like structure present above it this kind of a funnel like structure which is present above it okay so before this okay now the ovary as we can see here it's not floating in the air it is attached one it is attached to the body and second it is attached to the uterus it is attached from two sides so that it does not you know fall down it's not uh, uh, freely present it is attached so for that attachment from the ovary transparent mesenteries they are they arise these mesenteries they are transparent translucent and these mes mesenteries or this structure is known as mesovirium mesovirium and this connects 
दिस कनेक्ट द ओवरी विद बॉडी वॉल बॉडी वॉल सो वॉट आर दीज दे आर ट्रांसपेरेंट मिजेंट्रीज ट्रांसपेरेंट ट्रांसल्यूसेंट स्ट्रक्चर विच इज नोन एज मिजोवरियम एंड दिस मिजोवरियम विच विल कनेक्ट दिस ओवरी टू द बॉडी वॉल एंड नाउ वी हैव दिस funnel like structure we all know that after ovaries we have fallopian tubes this we have done in grade 10th also but when the fallopian when, when we talk about fallopian tubes when we talk about fallopian tubes i'll just draw and then tell you they are divided into three parts this part is the ampulla then we have isthmus and the final portion which is going to attach to the ovary sorry sorry the uterus that is known as the fundic part so these are the three parts of the fallopian tube now this ampulla is further divided or categorized into structures this part this cup shaped part the funnel shaped part is known as in fundibulum and this cup shaped structure has these finger like extensions here known as fimbrae i label them here fimbrae these finger like extensions are there at the cup if you see this is the cup like structure this is the funnel like structure the infundibulum these are the finger like extensions and the egg which is released by the ova it now needs to move towards the fallopian tube which is against gravity so what will how will it be done the fimbrae will always be in a movement in a movement and if you see the structure here at the center of the fimbrae it has an opening known as ostium if i if i draw a hypothetical diagram here to suppose if uh, if these are the finger like extensions here it has an opening known as ostium this ostium will suck in the egg to the fallopian tube so this is the infundibulum part i label it with green i underline it with green so that you know that this is the part of the ampulla ampulla in fundibulum has these fimbrae which are always in a movement a sucking movement and have an opening known as ostium which sucks in or pulls in the egg inside the fallopian tube also ampulla is the site of fertilization ampulla is the site of fertilization we say fallopian tubes in is a site of fertilization in our junior classes but here we have specified that from that fallopian tube the ampulla part is responsible for fertilization now what will happen the egg picked up by infundibulum is now going to move to the isthmus and then the fundic part after that we have this pear shaped structure the uterus here and this uterus is going to end up in the vagina okay so what happens here inside the uterus if you see the structure of uterus uterus is lined with three main linings uterus is a very muscular vascular structure so this is the first layer i am making the first layer of the uterus is perimetrium perimetrium okay this perimetrium it is fibrous and it provides protection basically it's fibrous and it provides protection to the uterus after perimetrium the next layer is myometrium the next layer of uterus is myometrium and this myometrium it 
is muscular myo word stands for muscular and we have the third layer sorry 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 third layer which is folded inside we have this folded layer it is highly folded and highly vascular this is the last layer of the uterus and that is i'll just remove this part we are labeling it on one side so this is endometrium and endometrium is the layer which is highly vascular and is highly folded okay so now we have done the fallopian tube part we have done the uterus part uterus if i collectively label it so this part is the uterus and it has three layers lined with three layers outer peritoneum perimetrium inner myometrium and the innermost endometrium perimetrium is fibrous myometrium muscular endometrium folded and highly vascular richly supplied with blood vessels and this whole structure is the uterus and the function of uterus is it's a site for implantation the implantation of the developing embryo takes place in the uterus and then it develops into a fully grown baby inside the uterus then after uterus we have this next portion the next part which is known as cervix this part is the cervix and it ends up in vagina now the cervix part of the uterus that part has two openings i'll just it has this one is this opening and the other one is this opening so it's a kind of a tube like structure so it has two openings the upper opening is known as internal os and the lower is known as external os os stands for orifice orifice kind of an opening us so, orifice ko bolte hain opening so cervix has this internal and external os present and then it ends up in the vagina part which is rough from the inner side and this vagina will further open up into a vaginal opening that is known as vaginal opening called vulva okay and here we have this covering known as hymen now hymen was earlier known to be the you know uh, that it is uh, it it's the part which is you know it shows the virginity of the female but in many cases the hymen gets ruptured due to excessive sports and also it is not at all a criteria for this but yes this is an open this is a uh, part it is a uh, covering which is present in the female uh, reproductive system yes it's it's uh, persists in the female in some females it persists throughout their life as well so it's not something which is which says that uh, the female is virgin or something so but it is there so these are the different parts now vagina it is the part where wherein the sperms are released and also the baby is expelled out so it's also known as the birth canal so these are the functions of the vagina so we have this female reproductive system here we have discussed that ovary oh one thing ovary i told you it is attached to the body wall with the help of mesovarium and i told you it's attached to the uterus also so the same kind of mesentries are here also present which attaches the ovary to the uterus these mesentries are known as ovarian i'll write it with black are known as ovarian ligament ovarian ligament 
okay so the mesenteries which attach the ovary to the body wall is known as mesovarium and the ones which attach it to the uterus are known as ovarian ligament then we have the fallopian tube which is divided into ampulla isthmus and fundic part this is called fundus actually the part of this part of the uterus the bulge part is known as fundus that's why this is the fundic part ampulla has these cup uh, this cone like structure known as infundibulum which has these finger like extensions known as fimbrae they always are in movement and an opening known as ostium through which the egg moves inside the fallopian tube then we have the uterus which is divided into which is layered by three layer uh, linings outermost perimetrium middle myometrium and the end internal is endometrium myometrium is fibrous sorry perimetrium is fibrous myometrium is muscular endometrium is folded and highly vascular richly supplied with blood vessels uterus is a site for implantation then we have the next region known as cervix which has two openings external os and inter, ex, internal and external os os stands for orifice that's an opening then we have vagina the extended part which is roughly which has a rough internal surface which opens up into vaginal opening known as vulva has a has a covering present known as hymen vagina is responsible is the place where the sperms are released and it is also known as birth canal so this is all about female reproductive system in our next video we'll be starting with the structure of ovary and what all changes they take place in the ovary so keep liking sharing subscribing thank you